morning everyone, we're fishing here at Hermanus Plat. Um, trying to tell about some steamies today. I've got a guest angler with me, he's going to be joining me on my trips. Um, got him to help me out in the, the summer days, so he'll be on training for a while. So hopefully you guys can see some, some good fish today. So yeah, let's, let's see what we can do. Boy, boy. I hope this Clayton put Roger a stand. <laughs> okay. It's nice and cold though. Good <laughs> up there. Yes, Clayton. What did you have to do for us? You know, a lekker cup of coffee for your eyes. And we're warm here. Wait for the water to come back. Right to the And we're going to see when we're going to get the stock So, look at how the steam rations can get. Hey! Palo, 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 we're waiting for you, my friend. Why are you waiting? We see the water looks very nice. We're waiting for your retirement. I'm here already. I'm just waiting for you. Rigging up a steady trace because I wasn't prepared. <laughs> Make one here on the beach. I want to go half a room. Chop that one. Jayuk was was outside the mouth. Okay, so and the circle took us in its mouth over here. So how long was this bike like? Pretty quick. Few minutes. So So yeah, I've made a 
new try some other arts. I'm not sure, guys, what I use in my steels. So I've got uh, some fluorocarbon, demon circle, 305. That one. Okay. And then also the gun number four. And also I've got this anti tank screws and some clips. So this breaking strain on this one is. What is this? 16 kg line, so it's 0.49. I don't think you need to go that heavy um, considering the size of fish you're going to catch. So obviously with steel is the lighter you can go the better. So I know a lot of guys like to use one hook but I prefer using two hooks. So it's almost like using a, a dingle dangle but just with a worm and then for the bottom section being a hook. So if, if you're building traces at home Rather make it a little bit longer so if you come to the beach then you can always just cut it down to size but if you want a longer trace and it's pretty cut short already you can't make it longer you have to remake your trace so I like I know my length already uh, from the center because that length is kind of slightly shorter take my three or circle so yeah, um, I don't like to leave too big a gap when it comes to making this little setup. So I think that I normally use like from my finger length, that is the size that I make it. So if you think of cog fishing, you normally use a circle look for the dingo at the bottom here. Some guys, even me, I like to use, um, put another hook at the bottom just in case they grab it at the bottom. So you saw in the in the video um, earlier on the soup was actually in the fish's mouth so my understanding of it is that if the bait is on the ground if it's moving around the steering will come pick it up um, chew a bit and then spit it out again so with him spitting it out normally that circle actually gets in in the mouth so it works very similar to a, a dingo um, and then you will see maybe if I get another fish today with a that's the, the bottom jayu or it's the top circle so I like to call this my little trap hook and now I'm going to use one of those little tablet floats I was using the smaller pay one um, on my other rod over there I took it uh, the float of completely so I'm going to see what is going to be a bit more effective between a pay and one of those little capsule floats so now I'll use my anti tangle sleeve it's not really necessary but it's a nice little gadget to use keep the stress so i like to use this maximal line fishing at night she's not going to really see the difference between maxima and what is the normal no no and the floral but maybe during the diet will make a difference if you guys wanted to show you some more um, traces and stuff what I use and that works for me just let me know in the comments below and then I'll, I'll try to put some videos together on the trace that I use. Shane, what's going on? Yeah, not much going on. I went a bit further down the beach to go see if I could find another bank but it's pulling a bit too hard down further down the beach so yeah, we rig up the other rod again and throw again. It's the best. Yeah. That's a uh, blood worm. You can use the old one, but I just break it off just past the tail. So instead of throwing the section over, you can actually use it if you got a prone, put the prone on with the section, or you don't want to use it, chuck it in the water where you're fishing so it makes good jump. So, so if you're using one hook, you can just thread it through, but with two hooks, it's going to be a little bit difficult to thread it through without using cotton. So. I'll just normally measure from uh, there and then I'll stick it in. So yeah, so now I've got that part dangling over there. So all I do is I'll just have a cotton. I won't put any cotton on the bottom section there. So just cotton it up. And then when it comes to the top, I just wind it over my finger for a bit and then just roll it off and they will actually turn top each other so that will kind of 
marking place and then for the float just move it down to the plate just go above the, the float a bit and then back down around the worm so just to make sure you hold it, the float in place and that you hold the worm there as well should work so yeah so that's my my steamy bait and then the rest of the trace it's a running trace with a sinker part that runs as a full running so normally you get like a semi running trace where you can put the swivel over here and just have it running till there I prefer using what's the embrass the full um, section to run and then yeah put my bait and then bombs away Isolated sandbag I think it's not too much really on. So there in the way I like to set my, my drag tighten it up a bit like that you mustn't be able to pull it like that so tighten it a bit more a bit more you see it's slipping and if I use two fingers or at least three fingers to pull and then like that it slips that's a good enough drag so I use to pop as well Um, yeah, if there's anybody that's interested in doing these trips with me, uh, feel free to contact my details will be in the description below and also at the end of the video. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. 
this one. Uh, um, I'm gonna try and do some more like this. And yeah, let's see what Shane is. Shane, how are you feeling, buddy? Yo, oh, it's a long day. Let's put it that way. It's a very long day. How's, it, how's fly fishing? It's good. It's a little bit tiring. There's no way to get out of the sun, so it's in the sun all day. And yeah. plates and catches all the fish. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. It's my time now. Seems to be. I came to watch TV today. Yeah, bro, it's in the popcorn. Ah, didn't help. So, yeah, if there's anybody interested in doing the strips, um, it's 12 hour sessions. Or you can do a, a two day. If you're interested, let me know. Hopefully, we'll get one as we, we're reeling in it right now. Bye bye. Morning, Bolo. Morning, morning, morning. How was the drive here? Oh, long drive, hey, long drive. Hopefully, we can get some nice big steam blast today. Everybody wants to know what the fuss is about the flood. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Weather is good, sea looks good. Keep our fingers crossed. Welcome back, Rishad. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you. Lovely drive. Crapping hard there. Working hard. Case it in. To Meritzburg. Now I'm in Amanis Plot. Sloopies. 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 Enjoying my first time out here. Let's hope I catch a good, nice size double digit steam rods. Very nice, very nice, beautiful. Well, early morning fish. Very lucky today. And Barlow's with me today, but I still beat him today for the first, <laughs> first one I'm beat Barlow. Okay, big mouth, okay? Yeah. Big mouth, yeah. big mouth, okay? Right. You get bigger one in it now. Yes, competition, Barlow. Yeah. I can see, I can see your day today, it's your day. You're not in this guy tune you like that. And I'll leave him, leave him, leave him. Leave him. I only catch him when they're 12 and over. 12 kg and over. Barlow, I just... Yeah, so that's the end of day two here on the Hermanas. Only the one fish that came out this morning. Um, I had one full master fish and a full barbo. Yeah, so that's about it. Sometimes <laughs> things don't go according to plan. Chucky, who was it? Huh? How was your day? My day was fine, I'm happy. Yeah. I got my first steam blast for the for the year. So now I'm happy. Did you catch a steam before? No, no, no. It's my first one for since okay. whenever. That was good. The first steam I caught. So nice size, eatable, not small, I don't need to throw it back. Yeah. Hello? 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 Bolo? Uh, well done. Well done, Bricky. Well done, Bricky. Well 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 Great day. Absolutely brilliant day. Brilliant day. Although like we didn't get any out. fish, but yeah. Great Chow, day. Chow was top, eh? Chow was top. So we came out that for nothing. Yeah, we came yeah, out for nothing. Top Chow there. Top proper, chow. proper dry master. Proper. Yeah, so now, drive back. It's on a haste to find. Now, Mama, Yeah. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed the video, please subscribe, like, follow, share, and hopefully we can do more trips like this in the future. I'm gonna try and go up to the dam. Where are we going next? Honestan. Honestan for some muscle crackers. So yeah, thanks again for watching.